Now, more than 22,000 tonnes of packaging will be left over once Irish consumers have munched their way through an estimated 17 and a half million chocolate Easter eggs this Easter. With that in mind, here to give advice on how you can reduce your waste after the Easter madness is consumer expert Siobhan McGuire. Good morning, Siobhan. <laughs> the how best to look with that, Siobhan. <laughs> We've got a fit of the giggles here. 22,500 tonnes. 22,500 to be exact. 22,500 tonnes, that's incredible. Yeah, it is. I, uh, which the consumer group in, in Britain did a survey earlier this month um, on some of the more popular Easter egg brands. Oh, yeah. And, and they basically found that um, you know over a third of the weight of your the Easter egg you buy is made up of the cardboard and the plastic yeah. and the foil. Um, but the manufacturers so are getting better, are they, in terms of the mm. materials they're they're providing their packaging or the eggs packaged in are recyclable, are they? The are entire they the entire the whole uh, package thing is. is recyclable. Yeah, yeah. So obviously you consume the chocolate, and then you can uh, scrunch up the aluminium foil, and that is then yeah. used to make tins and cans. And um, the cardboard uh, is compressed, and the plastic is the recycled. Plastic. Right. We'll get to Easter in a second, but just going back to our tradition of recycling as a nation, we're not bad. I mean, we came seventh, didn't we, Ireland as a country in terms yeah, of recycling? Yeah, we're, we're we're getting much much better. Um, and 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 that's kind of um, uh, you know partly because people are talking an awful lot more about yeah. the need for um, you know a safer planet. Um, the the BBC Planet Earth too had that startling fact that if we don't start tackling um, um, the amount of plastic being wasted, we'll have more plastic in our oceans than fish by 2050, which that's is frightening. Frightening, yeah. yeah. 2050. Absolutely. 2050, yeah. Just over 30 years away. I know, exactly. And there's oh, also no. recycling campaigns being rolled out in schools across the country. So yeah. we're starting from a young age to understand the importance. We and are. That's so, well, they say, the second thing is, it's all about educating yeah. the kids, isn't it? Well, it is, sure. yeah, absolutely. Um, now, we are uh, recycling uh, to date from. Um, for people who have uh, bin collections has been free. And uh, from next month, April, uh, we're going to start seeing uh, changes across two service providers, um, Panda and uh, City Bins. Mm -hmm. And uh, essentially, the idea behind this is that we used to rely on China for all our um, mixed dry recyclables. And that is now, since January, uh, China has put a, a stop to that. When so you say we're we used to, to rely on China, they took it all from they us. They took it all meant? from okay. us, yeah. So um, earlier this month, Panda emailed um, its uh, 250,000 customers um, and basically said, look, you know, we generate um, about 100,000 tonnes of recyclables uh, per annum. Uh, we can no longer use China. We're going to have to look elsewhere. Therefore, a fee is going on the bins and that's going to be 80 cents per lift per 4.5 kilogram lift. So what will that work out as an average household uh, over here? Around 21 euro okay. per annum. Although, Simon, you were saying that, that you know... Yeah, we, I was saying to Siobhan before we came in there, because of the sheer volume of people in my house... <laughs> There's a lot. We have two green bins. <laughs> Do you really? We have to, because so the you amount... you pay then for the extra well, one? Well, we will be from yeah, next yeah. month, so it'll be about 42 quid yeah. a year. Yeah. Great. Well done, 21 by 2. 42. And actually, if you think about Thanks, it, Laura. it'll be even more, Simon, because... <laughs> I had a Give them the good news. <laughs> Come on, go on. Well, well, panda, panda bins um, in some areas allow you to to put glass and everything into your bin rather than having to take them to the bottle bank. So unless you start segregating um, well, your we waste, yeah, we segregate it anyway. Okay. Yeah, we would do a bottle bank. Oh, rolling. okay. Yeah. Okay. As well. You're With way all the wine bottles, I'm living the dream. You are. My weekends you are just are a high roller. <laughs> glass. Tell us about the sick of plastic campaign. OK, so that kicks off on April 21st and it's uh, Friends of the Earth and Voice Ireland. And what they're planning to do is um, it's kind of more a protest um, um, vote. So they're getting people to shop and drop whatever you buy at a supermarket on that day. Remove the excess packaging mm -hmm. to make a point that it's not actually needed. Yeah. Leave it there and then take your, your, your goods home. So it's a way of kind of letting the consumer realise that um, to be a more conscious shopper. I guess, and to realise that if you're buying, say, loose fruit and veg, you don't need the plastic bag to pop them all into. I mean, you can just just put them separately into the trolleys or the baskets or whatever. But that's the way we used to shop mm. years ago. Yeah, when my, exactly. when my parents and my grandparents went to the market yeah. in Mead Street, you brought the shopping bag with you yeah. and you put everything into the one bag. Not everything comes in a bag or a package or a box. 
or some sort of packaging nowadays. It's yeah. utter waste, isn't it? It really is, actually. In, in the UK, the co-op um, chain of supermarkets are fantastic for kind of really? um, encouraging people to pretty much just shop uh, you know, and avoid using plastic for, for any of the, the items they yeah. pick up. Um, it, Fallon and Byrne in Ireland here, I know that they have a couple of stores around Dublin, uh, very nice mm. kind of artisan stores, but they encourage people to bring in containers to, um, yeah, yeah. To, to, you know, to put their, their foods into. the same into. with coffee now. A lot of coffee houses around yeah, the country exactly, are rolling exactly. out the initiative. Bring in your own. Yeah, yeah, recyclable cup. Um, you just mentioned there that Panda were going to introduce a 21 euro yeah. levy, um, but there's a, there's other companies as well that are going to well, follow suit. City or bins will. are going to put in a charge of one euro ninety cent on their on their service. So, and I, and I would imagine all the other providers will follow because, as we say, we we, we don't have the China aspect yeah. to fall back on now. Yes. So it, it is it is a. Um, a bit of a gamble now trying to find um, someone else to It's do another this conversation part. for another day as to why China mm. has yeah, uh, already completely. stopped. But, yeah. but yeah. We, we have a little graphic we want to put up about mm. tips when it comes to recycling. Yeah, what should yeah. we keep yeah. in mind? Okay, well, um, some of the, the important things are um, the Mobius um, <laughs> logo. <laughs> the Mobius logo. Which is. Um, Sounds like a moon in, in Mobius loop, Saturn. Which is the, the little three kind of twisty triangle the arrows, um, yeah. symbols that you see on your package. And that essentially means that you can recycle. You see, that's the thing. And again, we had such a great chat during the break. I was talking about this <laughs> at home that I automatically just put everything in the recycling bin. But my wife has said, no, you need to check it now. You and do. Lisa would go, no, look, there's no mark on it. You can't yeah. recycle the baby. Take him out. No, that's true. <laughs> unless he has the, the Mobus loop on him, but he doesn't. Um, it, it's that thing of going through and checking. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And then you know, there's it's convoluted. So you you know, you should really should be segregating and saving. People think that all plastics can go in. They they actually can't. They can't it can so. only be rigid plastics. So like the the you know the 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 butter container or the the washing uh, the washing capsule okay. container the milk cartons um cling film can't go in polystyrene can't go in oh. they simply can't be broken down paper can't go in damp because it breaks down far too fast oh, wow. for it to be reused by the mills um so it is quite a little complicated <sighs> it, process it's a day's work in itself <laughs> isn't it it sure is but so just be more so mindful of it yeah, exactly. that's exactly it yeah, yeah. self education thank you very thank much you. For thank you